Now, in order to become an entrepreneur, you may actually walk through a kind of progression. And so you may not be the, the top innovator or the entrepreneur right away, but some people start out with relatively easy tasks, and that is what they call explorers. They observe, they discover a few trends, yeah? they look at technology patterns and new business models, they identify new markets, but they may not yet act on that. They, they benchmark with competitors, they learn from peers and thought leaders, and they basically are kind of in an observation phase. Uh, uh, then the experimenter is the next step, basically, where they take this, what they've observed and learned, and transfer the knowledge and try to find resources, uh, including other people, capital investment, expenditures, tools, uh, to you know, think around and uh, start working on that and contribute to the existing ecosystem. And then you have the innovators who are starting to really create new ideas, new markets, new solutions and business models and start you know, really shaping corporate, uh, corporate culture and, and take a lead uh, and and create their own ecosystem on that, and with that, and, and once they are able to roll it out, you know, then they are these entrepreneurs. Um, for that, uh, working in a vacuum is uh, not possible. You 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 need really executive sponsors. You need to stop sponsorship, and they help those entrepreneurs to remove obstacles to to coach them, uh, not judge them to just coach them, to, to network them. They, they help them to connect them with other executives or people or resources that they, that they may need. They, they may promote or help you promote those projects both internally and externally. They, they protect entrepreneurs from their own organization. You know, when the legal department is going after you, yeah, the executive sponsor can't block them and say, no, you're not coming here in at the moment. We, you come in later. And, uh, and a good executive sponsor for an entrepreneurship program, for an innovation management program, is also actively scouting for new projects and entrepreneurs and ideas. Not just sitting there and waiting for somebody to come, but really going outside and, and getting there. Uh, here's, here's an example. Yeah? Uh, uh, Vodafone um, has an entrepreneurship program and they are known as innovation champions. So they are supported and coordinated by a small central team of innovation sponsors. Uh, and they manage a global matrix team of innovation champions from different business units to expand and accelerate methodologies and impact. The, those, those innovation champions often work also with customers and they come from everywhere. And they often stay for a certain time, like a year or two or three uh, in that circle. And, and then there's fresh blood coming in. Yeah, you know, work changes, my priorities change, uh, but you need to be open. And this team actually, central team is not really large. It's just a handful of people, five, six, seven people only. Uh, and and those, those innovation sponsors also deliver internal uh, innovation boot camps uh, to drive awareness of methodologies such as design thinking, and customer engagement models, and you need to really roll out and develop a culture of innovation. Uh, now, in order to become a mentor or to, to offer mentorship, you need, to, of course, to have people who are willing to, to accept it, who are coming to you, basically. You cannot, uh, as Al Mori says, uh, mentoring works better when people want to be mentored, as opposed to telling people, you will be mentored. Yeah? So, so people need to uh, be open to, to that thing. Uh, what's important is bringing outsiders cultivate and stay in contact with outside experts that you consult on a regular basis. Use experts from a variety of fields, not just in your business. Yeah, uh, They should be actually outside of your own core business so that you get an early access to new trends. Now here's a, here's a task for you. Create your own dream team. Yeah, Imagine now you have an idea, you want to do something. Who's your dream team? Who are your stakeholders? Who could be the discoverers? And who would you bring in as outside mentors? 